Quite a story in Chesapeake. Two people ended up in the hospital after an elderly woman crashed into a customer and then went barreling into a post office. This all happened at a very busy spot on Battlefield Boulevard. Ten of your sides, Anita Blanton was there. When several hours after the accident, crews finally pulled that car out to start up the cleanup. Anita? Yeah, Nicole and Tom, it was a chaotic morning for sure in this area where the post office is located. We had a crew covering a barricaded suspect right next door when this all took place right after 8 a.m. Although police aren't releasing the names of the women involved in the accident, they're both expected to be okay. And so is this building in time. But as you can see right here, right now, it's not in the best shape. No post office today. It's the only thing I can think of. It's in no way business as usual here at this post office on Battlefield Boulevard today. This moment came hours after an 80 year old woman came crashing in. They say she was attempting to park and hit the gas instead. You never know when somebody might forget to put their foot on the brake and put their foot on the gas. Police, firemen, postal inspectors and glass experts all had a meeting of the minds to come up with a plan. The post office boxes outside, the collection boxes out front here will still be serviced. Uh, people are not permitted to come in and get their P.O. Box mail at this time. Cleanup will be a task with plenty of questions from regular customers along the way. I come here about every day, or every other day, to get my mail and bring mail to the post office. Do you know when I might be able to get my mail? People have been coming to us asking how soon they could get in there, so we're hoping within 24 hours that we will have this post office you know, operational again. In the meantime, there's a sense of deja vu. I've been two or three times here. In the, in the past, anyway. It was boarded up for probably over a month. They were waiting for the glass to come in to replace it. They should put up poles in front of the building is the only thing I can think of. That's the only way you're going to stop these people from running into it. Sure enough, we found video in our archives from 2008 when four people were hurt and January of 2010 of a smashed window, all before more unintended renovations were needed here again today. Police have not said whether the driver will face any charges. The postal inspector says if that's your usual spot for any retail needs, you may have, you want to go to the Great Bridge or Indian River Post offices for now. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.